Hi, I'm Ruthie. Welcome back to the Ruthie Fantastic Channel. Today's video is about bath bombs. I hate calling them bath bombs because that sounds so destructive and awful, but they are fantastic. They're these little things that you drop in the tub that fizzy and smell good and put moisturizer into your skin. So I started making these at Christmas time for lots of my family members I made, and my team at work. I made a 50 bajillion bath bombs. I didn't count them really, but I did make a lot. Like I had a huge box. I'll show you guys a picture right here. Um, and I have made them since for other things. The ones I'm actually going to show you how to make are not these. These are ones that I made like two weeks ago. These are the ones that I made. They are actually still drying in their molds. I made two batches, which you'll see in the video at a sort of split screen effect. One with Clark, so it is actually really easy to make. Uh, my four-year-old helped me make them. Helped me make them. And uh, this is the other batch that we made um, with blue and a different scent. But you'll see all that in the video. Everything that I use to make my bath bombs, I bought on Amazon. The molds, all of the ingredients. You can, though, make these uh, from things that you have at home. You should be able to also make them in either silicone baking, like um, cupcake liners or like a silicone chocolate mold. I've never done that, but I have heard you can do that. So if you don't have molds, try that and let me know how it goes in the comments. If you make my bath bombs, I would love to hear about it. If you have any questions about the recipe, what I did, how I did it, let me know in the comments. You'll see in the video, or you might not see, where I actually do the recipes a little bit differently. Um, in one I was with Clark and one I was with Charlotte. You don't see or hear her, but she is there. Um, and I kind of put my ingredients in, in a different order, but it all turns out fine in the end. Like I said, everything from the grocery store, it's super simple, stay tuned. The first thing we're going to do, buddy, is you're going to color the salts. Okay, we have our... I want color salts, 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 salts. You're going to color the salts? Yes. Okay, you ready? Okay. We're going to use two different colors of McCormick food coloring, but we're just going to use like one. We're going to do two drops of the neon and one drop of dark blue and then you just stir it up i'm going to do it okay good stir I'm it up so what we're making today are bath bombs we are using a combination of do you remember what the ingredients are what is this what is that it's baking soda baking soda we have baking soda we have one half cup of baking soda now we need what is this Cornstarch. Yes, this is cornstarch. It's one fourth cup of cornstarch. And what is this? I don't know. It's citric acid. We have one half cup of citric acid. And those are the dry ingredients along with three tablespoons of Epsom salt. Actually, I take that back. It's two tablespoons of Epsom salt and one tablespoon of kosher salt. And I just kind of wanted um, two different kinds of salt in there for a visual. Um, it might be overkill. Okay, can I help you? A little bit. We're getting the um, color all mixed in. Oh, no, don't do that. You'll spill it everywhere. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. Um, pretty well mixed up. Okay, let's not. Don't help me make a big mess. Okay. So you have all of your wet ingredients, or dry ingredients, dry ingredients. And then you also need, what is this? Coconut oil. Yes, you need coconut oil. And I am using, this is the brand I got at the grocery store. And we're going to put that in. But we're not doing that just yet. The first step is to mix in all of our dry ingredients. Is, this dry, is that the dry ingredients? Uh -huh. These are the dry ingredients. Back up. Don't get your face right in the ingredients. You don't want that. It's, it'll feel funny up your nose. Yes, 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 <laughs> mixing, mixing it. Okay, in. can you pour in the salts, the blue salts? Now would also be the time to add your essential oil. Um, We're going to be using patchouli oil from Majestic Pure, Pure and lavender oil from Nature's Truth. These are my... This is the two the combination I want to do with these 
bombs. These bath bombs. Okay. Bath bombs are really funny. Really want to take a bath and put a bath bomb inside the bath tub with water in it. Is that what you do with bath, bath bombs? Yes. It doesn't change my colors. No, it doesn't make you different colors, does it? It just turns your water colors. Does that smell good? <sighs> really good. Okay. Now, this is pretty dry and crumbly, and it won't turn into any sort of bath bomb at all. But you get it all mixed in. Yeah. And it smells good, right, buddy? Yes. Okay, now we add in our one tablespoon of coconut oil and mine is pretty melty because it's pretty warm in here so you get it mixed in and you want to move quickly to get things incorporated because um, it'll start to fizz if you don't and you'll have to just get in there and get stuff stirred together yes yeah, it smells really good, doesn't it? Yes, it really. Now, how do what do we do? Because uh, this won't really turn the water colors either. I mean, it will a little bit because it is food coloring. But in a, in effect, there's three drops of food coloring in here, and this is going to go in a whole bathtub. Um, so it's not really going to change the color of your water. So what we put in <laughs> our bath bombs <clears throat> are really tub colors. And they come in red, yellow, and blue. And so we put these and in the you inside. Mix them. Yes. So we're gonna dump some in here so you can pick out a color. We're gonna get blue. Okay. And we also have molds to use. Yes, we're gonna get. And the last thing that you do, you have water. This is the water and bottle. And, and you just sort of spray a little water and spray a little blue water, and you get it. You get squishing, ah! and you just you go real fast until it gets to sort of a, whoop, wet sand. You want it to get hard when you squish it. Okay, buddy, pick out a color. Good job, good job. Can you, can you have your mold? That's what you do here. Yellow. You want to do yellow? Okay, pop that down in the middle. Okay. You have our next. And you get it pretty full. Now I'm going and to use blue. It's a B. That sells for blue. Sells for blue. Ta-da! Oh. Okay. Oh, you get what color are you going to do next? We can make more. See, there's more stuff in here. This will probably make three bath bombs, Clarky. Can What's the next color? Uh, maybe purple. With these. Well, that's red. To do purple, we'd have to put red and blue. Wet and <coughs> Actually, okay, yeah. You ready? You gonna put them in there? Okay, okay good job. And then, fill the next one up. Yes, 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 yes. We made this. But don't touch it until it dries, buddy. You gotta let it dry probably at least a couple of hours before it gets hard enough to use. So. And I think we're gonna get like a half one. What color do you want to use? Mm, maybe blue azul again. Blue azul again. Blue azul. This is blue azul. I know a little fizziness on my it, finger there. This is a B. It stands with a uh, Okay, I'm gonna Blue. push it in. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, let's. There we go. So, that recipe made two and a half bath bombs in the sort of medium palm size mold. It takes a couple of hours for. It takes. Hours for this to be done. 
Ah, uh, thank you so much for watching my video about how to make bath bombs. The way to keep them all sealed up, you can see that here, um, is wrap them tightly in cling wrap, saran wrap, you know, I don't know if the saran wrap's the brand, but cling wrap is what it does. And you just pull it tight and, you know, like argh, pull it tight, slam it. Don't slam it because you might break your bath bomb, but then tape it down. I will show you guys how to do that in a future video, um, but this one just tells you how to make the bath bomb. So thanks so much for watching. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications because I'm still totally random about when I post videos. And I hope you're having a fantastic time wherever it is you are right now. Bye. Mwah.